Spotify has recently announced that those with Spotify premium accounts can now DJ with their playlists in Rekordbox, Serato, and Algorithm DJ. Beat Source and Beatport Link were early to the game on this one. Title as well. And then you see Apple Music jumping into the game and now Spotify. Does anyone remember when early versions of Virtual DJ had Spotify integration and they actually had to take it out? There was a time when if you would have asked me if this type of integration was coming, I would have told you that it would not happen. So this excites me. Those of you that know I love, hate all of these three programs, I have experience in Rekordbox, Serato, and DJ. I think they're all good. They all have their pros and cons. Me personally, I'm a Rekordbox user. I use Rekordbox both on USB and in performance mode with controllers. I'll share my opinions about all of this later. Let's jump right into Rekordbox and take a look at this new Spotify integration. Okay, so I am in Rekordbox and I have updated to the newest version. In order to use Rekordbox with the Spotify integration, it requires version 7.2.3 or later. At the time of this recording, I am using Rekordbox version 7.2.3. Also, the Spotify integration is exclusive to performance mode in Rekordbox. So you want to make sure you're in performance mode up here in the upper left. Click on the drop down menu and make sure that performance is checked. It does not work in export mode. If I go into the settings for record box, I'm gonna go into settings. We're gonna go to view and go to the layout tab. And you can see that the Spotify streaming service was checked by default and all of my preferred services are checked and the ones that I prefer not to use are unchecked. Heading over into Rekordbox, you can see on the left-hand side, there is this new Spotify logo. And if I select it, you can see that I am greeted with a login screen. Let's go ahead and log into Spotify and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so connecting your Spotify to Rekordbox, let's have a look at the API integrations with Rekordbox. It looks like Rekordbox will be able to view your Spotify subscription account, country, and explicit content filter settings. Actually, that's kind of cool. I want to look at that. I wonder if turning off the explicit content filter in Spotify will, in fact, remove the explicit content as being available in your Rekordbox. I know some mobile DJs will actually really like that. Your name, username, profile, picture, Spotify followers, and public playlists. You can view your activity. You can view what you've saved to your library, playlists you've created and playlists you follow, your collaborative playlists, and your personalized playlists. That's awesome. So if you're collaborating on a playlist with like another DJ, or if you're maybe a mobile op, and you want to create a playlist that one of your DJs can then just easily subscribe to and have, that's actually very convenient. And now it all works in Rekordbox or Serato or DJ Pro. You can create, edit, and follow private playlists. So you can actually create a new playlist from within the software. That's awesome. And you can edit existing playlists. So if you get something started in Spotify, you go into Rekordbox and you want to make a few changes, you can go ahead and do it there. And you could stream and control Spotify on your other devices. Let's agree and move on. Okay, there's a little bit of a hiccup logging in, but it looks like it's done. All of a sudden, Rekordbox has started analyzing 1,500 tracks out of nowhere. I have no idea where that's coming from. Maybe it just took the entire Spotify playlists or my entire Spotify library and is starting to analyze them. Under the Spotify heading, it looks like there are two main categories, made to DJ and your library. If I drill down on your library, yep, these are playlists that I've created in Spotify for mobile gigs over the years. I mostly used Spotify for cocktail hour at mobile gigs, so you can see that most of my playlists here are just like cocktail music, which is interesting. I really like this new heading, this thing called Made to DJ. This is actually pretty cool for DJs that are getting started and you want to get into basically you need music. If you were already curating music in Spotify, a lot of younger folks have been for a while now, your library is going to fully show up. But if you don't have any music and you just want to get started, this is a great starting point. I'm noticing that consistent with Apple Music, the little explicit icon is showing up in the attributes column. That's helpful for mobile DJs. Let's load a song and see if it supports stems. I just tried to load 50 Cent in the club and the app crashed. <laughs> All right, we're back. Record box crashed when trying to load my first song from Spotify. That's not encouraging. But moving on, let's see if it supports stems. So I've loaded the song. It's playing. I'm going to mute it for copyright reasons. 
And I'm gonna try to hit stems. It says there is no analysis data for the stems function. So it looks like stems are not possible. It took a while for the overview to load. That's kind of interesting. Let's try to load another song. It crashed again. I've restarted my operating system and record box. We're gonna continue on and learning this thing. I'm gonna load next episode here from their playlist. Okay, it loads right away. We're running this thing on a beast. It's a 14th Gen i9, 64 gigs of RAM, RTX 4090. This thing is plenty of horsepower for DJ software. So not exactly sure why it's crashing, but we'll keep moving along. It's taking a while for the waveform overview to show up. There it is. Okay, not too bad. I hit play, it plays. The sound is muted to avoid copyright. Let's see if we can do stems. It says there is no analysis data for the stems function at the bottom. So that means that there is no stems functionality for Spotify in Rekordbox performance mode. So if you were wondering right now, I would say if you're looking for a streaming service that does stems, go beat source or beat port. That's the way to go. Okay, now I wanna see if I remove the explicit content feature, um, the allow explicit content feature from Spotify if it will remove it from Rekordbox as well. I'm in the Spotify mobile app and because I don't have the desktop app and I am turning off allow explicit content and then let's refresh this playlist and go right back into the one that I was in and look at that. So yes, your explicit music filter does work in Rekordbox. All in all, this is looking pretty straightforward. I think the integration is awesome. I think this is a good thing for DJ culture and for DJs, especially those just getting started or those who have been curating music in their Spotify as music lovers and now want to DJ. I think this is great. I really like this made to DJ playlist. I wish that you had the ability to drill down on artists in a similar way that you can with Apple Music where it shows more things. I obviously wish there was stem integration, but it seems pretty consistent that stems is not integrated. There is no offline locker, so it will require an internet connection. In most cases, the internet connection from a mobile hotspot from your phone should be pretty decent. Basically, if you can play a YouTube video from your phone, you should have enough bandwidth to be able to stream DJ software. That said, being 100% reliant on streaming services as a professional DJ probably is not the move. Keeping your essential music offline and keeping essential private playlists specifically for events offline is probably still advised. But if you're into mobile gigs or mobile events like school dances or bars and nightclubs, I could see this being integrated real fast. I'd say overall, my biggest piece of criticism would be my initial experience with the software. The app crashed twice when I was trying to load songs. It's working stable now after a restart, but that doesn't give me a lot of confidence in the software. And I'll probably end up just waiting for some sort of an update or a bug fix. It hiccuped during login and it crashed twice. I am using the Windows version of Rekordbox. Maybe it's a different experience on the Mac. Maybe that's another, another video for the future. But I would say that is my biggest concern is that their performance was not 100%. So I'd like to see some improvements and optimizations going forward. Good stuff.